So right here, I have what is probably my fifth or sixth Blackmagic Pocket Camera over the past 13 years. And I bought this camera knowing there was a defect. There was some broken parts on the screen, some pixelation that I've had happen before. But as you take a look right here, there is no pixelation. So in today's video, I'm going to share a method that I thought people would have figured out by now, but it's a really easy but time-consuming and free way to fix the back of your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera if you have a pixelation issue. So here's what the screen looked like when I purchased it from this guy off Facebook, and this was the third Blackmagic I had this problem with. And I originally experienced this when I purchased the Blackmagic from somebody. They sent it with pictures, it had no issues, and when it was shipped to me, it actually had uh, pixelation on the back of the screen. So what I did is I found this video on YouTube many years ago that is for stuck pixels. I downloaded it, I'll leave a link in the description below, and put it into DaVinci Resolve and then exported it as a ProRes file. Then I just took a quick clip on this Blackmagic camera and I copied the clip name and gave the new ProRes clip I made the same name that was in the camera and then just put that clip on the SD card. And what that allowed me to do was to play the pixel fixing clip on the back of this camera. Now, here's what you need to know. Once you get started, it's not going to fix itself in five minutes. In fact, it could take around a week or so to fix. But as long as your burn in is in anywhere in this area below this line up here, if it's anywhere here, it will fix it. Before I would do the fix, if there's any dead pixels on the bottom here, I would run the test for around five days first with the camera running the way it is. And then down the line, you can go to Blackmagic's website and you could download one of the earliest firmwares for the original pocket camera. And that early firmware actually takes this status bar and it originally was down here. So then when you play the clips, it will show here to here and you could run that pixel checker. Now, Sometimes I've done it over four or five days and it's instantly been fixed. There's been other times where I ran it for around a week and there were still a little bit of issues on the screen, but then when I would turn it off and just casually use it over the next week or so, eventually it would go back to normal. That's actually what happened with this one. I did it for around a week and there were still some pixelation pieces on the screen and I kind of just gave up because I hadn't done it in a few years. And then after a few days, I happened to turn the camera on to go get some B-roll and voila, it became like this with no issues. So I wanted to make this video as quick as possible because it's a really cheap and easy solution if you get a black magic camera. 